imagine if you were to have like a regular cold that's very light. But a test at Pearson International Airport confirmed it wasn't a common cold the double vaccinated Torontonian caught. It was COVID-19. Well, there's a, a case of a, a person who was doubly inoculated and developed a full-blown uh, outbreak of uh, COVID. Well, that just goes to show that there are no absolutes in this world, but just probabilities. But it's stories like this that the unvaccinators consider when they're making the decision whether or not to get vaccinated or not. Uh, while the numbers are low and the risk is low, uh, for some, uh, they may be by nature pessimists and, uh, you know, uh, see things or they just don't want to take uh, the, uh, the the risk even though it's minimal. I know some people will say, well, geez, uh, driving a car, your odds are getting, you know, killed in a traffic accident are by far greater. Yes, I agree. But at the same time, there are many people who don't drive because of that same reason. And, you know, you can pick up any... Uh, any behaviors that uh, anxiety or fears associated with, uh, you know, there will be one, one group that will take the chance and another group who won't take the chance. Uh, and I'm pretty c confident that's uh, right across the board. Uh, now, I'm, I'm going to go through the, uh, the timeline very, very quickly to, to lead up to, the, uh, uh, to a discussion that I had about a month ago. And, uh, okay, so... We have in uh, October 2019 the announcement of COVID. Then it was announced it was a pandemic uh, in June uh, or Ju June uh, in January of 2020. Lockdowns uh, took place, uh, mandatory mask wearing, uh, social distancing. Uh, then later came, uh, we asked for the fast track uh, vaccine. Uh, vaccines came out when they first came out. It was uh, you need two, vac uh, two vaccines uh, and they have to be within 28 days, no less than 28 days in between them. And you cannot uh, mix uh, Moderna and Piver. Uh, that, that was a no-no back then. Well, the narrative changed. Uh, then it was, okay, you can take, uh, you know, your second dose six months later if needed uh, um, and uh, you then then you have to uh, now it's you have to take a a, a booster shot uh, and then you know they were also saying you know what you remember originally they said you couldn't mix them now they're saying you can mix the two of them so it's those inconsistencies that uh, may deter some people from de getting their flu shots. Uh, they, the, the, the discussion I had with this uh, person uh, was really sad. The timing is kind of interesting because somebody in our community uh, died shortly after receiving a COVID shot. Uh, I don't know if it was their first or their second. Uh, I, I forget, but according to the family, they believe that it was COVID. I mean, the other side of the coin, it might have been just coincidence that, that was going on. Uh, that I don't know. Uh, but it was one of the two, right? Uh, only two possible outcomes there, either coincidence or uh, it was, uh, it was a, uh, an adversive effect, in fact, in fact, a lethal adversive effect uh, of COVID. So the person I was speaking to, uh, they're really, really bothered. And I'd say, well, have you consulted with your physician? And, and uh, he said he's done all his homework and he's talked to his uh, family doctor and uh, he's really concerned about uh, taking the, 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 the COVID shot. I think it might have been his second COVID shot uh, that he was very reluctant, that he was basically saying that he wasn't going to take the chance uh, of, of, taking, uh, of uh, taking that shot that risk, um, uh, given uh, what, what had happened just re recently with the fatality of the person in our neighborhood. Uh, so you got to kind of understand, you know, why some people w will not. And again, like I say, the, narr the narrative in this whole COVID has been changing, changing. Now they've got, you know, Om Omicron, uh, you know, what do they do? Watch, uh, what, is it, what was the, uh, the name of the show that uh, Omicron was in? Uh, uh, Futurama, yeah, uh, you know, they give it a really diabolical name, right? Uh, 
You know, and then, you know, we had heard about herd immunity when you hit that 70, 80 percent. Well, we've hit that now two or three months. And uh, where is it? We don't even hear it being talked about. Uh, the other uh, thing that I would noticed, um, you know, the changing of uh, the framing of uh, the, the wording. Uh, we go from red zone to circuit breakers. Well, circuit breaker just doesn't sound as, you know, bad as uh, going into the red zone. So you start getting all these little play with words and uh, even, uh, I'm just going to see if I can pull. Uh, yeah, okay, right now I'm, uh, I'm uh, trying to get to the uh, to this website here. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what we need to know, and this is up to November 26th, uh, uh, so total dosage 59, we'll say 60, uh, 60 million, uh, yeah, okay, that's when I was looking, 6,443 uh, uh, total adverse event following immunization reports that were serious. Uh, of course, the percentage, uh, I'm not going to hide anything here, was 0.011%, uh, uh, point, or 011 uh, percent, uh, which is a small number, but still, it, 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 it's a risk. Uh, you know, so you know, I can go go down. I mean, uh, I'll flip right up there. It's a it's a Government of Canada page. Uh, so I mean, I'm not making this up. And you know, my my, my uh, like I have to be sympathetic and empathetic to those people who. Um, have decided uh, not to take the vaccination uh, because, you know, they may be um, they, they they may be uh, the ones uh, that are uh, going to uh, get the aversive effect and uh, basically, you know, forcing these people you know, by social shaming them or ousterizing them from the community. You're forcing them to play Russian roulette. Which uh, here's a scene from Deer Hunter, 1971. Uh, <laughs> where they depict uh, Russian roulette. And that's what you're asking some of these people to do, is play Russian roulette. And remember, because uh, the odds are slightly that you'll die in a car accident, that doesn't stop a uh, person from uh, driving. So until next time, like I said, I just got to clarify, I'm not here saying don't get vaccinated, and I'm not saying get vaccinated. <clears throat> do your homework, talk to your physician, and make an informed decision. So till next time, stay safe and take care.